Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. Today is Monday, the uh, third week of Ordinary Time. And today our morning prayer begins on page 668. Today is also the commemoration of St. Vincent. So let's begin this day in prayer. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O oh Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Holy God, you are just in all your ways and your commandments are the greatest treasures. Give us understanding of your law and direct us according to your will that we may be faithful in serving you. Amen. Shepherd of souls, refresh and bless your chosen pilgrim flock with manna in the wilderness, with water from the rock. We would not live by bread alone, but by your word of grace, in strength of which we travel on to your abiding place. Be known to us in breaking bread, but do not then depart. Savior, abide with us and spread your table in our heart. Lord, sup with us in love divine, your body and your blood, that living bread, that heavenly wine, be our immortal food. A reading from Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I promised it once, and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I have suffered much, O Lord. Restore my life again, as you promised. Lord, accept my offering of praise, and teach me your regulations. My life constantly hangs in the balance, but I will not stop obeying your instructions. The wicked have set their traps for me, but I will not turn from your commandments. Your laws are my treasure. They are my heart's delight. I am determined to keep your decrees to the very end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading for this morning is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. Remember your leaders who taught you the word of God. Think of all the good that has come from their lives and follow the example of their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So do not be attracted by strange new ideas. Blessed are you, Lord God of our ancestors, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed is your holy, glorious name, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holiness, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you beholding the depths enthroned upon the cherubim, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the heights of the heavens, praised and exalted above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you reveal your love through your holy shepherds. Let their lives be constant reflections of your truth and your mercy. Through faithful pastors and teachers, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through the pastors and doctors of your church, you have touched us with healing of body, mind, and spirit, 
Fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in those who today lead your church. You have taught your flock through the prudence of love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of faithful pastors and wise teachers. Lord, we pray today for several people in particular. We pray for Jack, for his health, for his healing. We pray for him that he finds again his need for you, O Lord. We pray for Mark this morning. He's going through so much right now, O Lord. Help him to be able to calm down and to find peace in the midst of all this. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mark's brother, John, who has now gone to heaven to be with you, O Lord. Grant him rest. Grant him peace forever in your eternal kingdom. And Father, we ask you to lead and guide us this day Help us keep our eyes and our hearts and our minds focused on you and stay with you to this day in constant prayer. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of loving provision, through the life and witness of Vincent, you enlightened your faithful people. You made him a pastor of the church to feed your sheep with his word and to teach them by his example. Help us to keep the faith he taught and to follow the way of life he modeled. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and ordain his peace. May souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and all who might be watching this day, May the Lord keep you in his loving care. He reaches out to us every day with his hands of mercy. May you hold on to him as he reaches out, waiting for you to take his hand, that you might live with him forever. God's peace and blessing upon you.